Um, please tell me if I did. That's a skeleton. Oh, hello. Oh, what am I doing? Jeez, what is going on? Awesome block skating. Hello, this is DJ, and welcome back to our fun adventure. Today we're back with another episode of Network Quality Problems and Voice Cracking. Very fun. But anyways, yeah, we're actually back with Minecraft. That was a very long blink. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to tell you a funny story real quick. So actually, you know what, we'll get to that in a second because we're going to be uh, mining for a while, and so, you know. Yeah, I'm just going to be mining for, we're going to be strip mining today. So if you remember the previous episode, I was lost in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the night. I made it back safely. I literally sprinted back. I'm back now. So now I need to grab some iron tools now, because I just realized, you know, I'm not going to get too far with only, um, three irons. Irons. Jeez. Um. Do we not make an, a diamond pickaxe? Oh, we do have one. It's right here. Okay. One, two, three. So we're going to go strip mining today, because why not, I guess. Um, right, might help if I had some sticks, wouldn't it? Yeah, oh jeez, network quality problems are all over the place today. Okay, so we're going to take that, and now we're going to make ourselves a, an iron smeltery deal. Not an iron smelter, what am I thinking? There, there's my watch, it's telling me it's 3.15. So yeah, um, anyways, we're gonna get strip mining. We're gonna go across, oh, we're gonna go to sleep first. And then we're going to go off of this island here. And yeah, just strip mine, see what we get to. And actually, I'm gonna need to remember to bring a bed this time. Sensitivity seems to have reset, which is interesting. So, where is it? Um, oh, I do have another iron pickaxe. Well, now I've got three. Very fun. I have more iron pants. Well, what am I wearing? Then? Iron pants, but those are more durable. Oh, well, whatever. So, in the building section here is our bed. It's going to be in the hot bar for some reason. Do I have torches? I have plenty. This is going to be good. Now I just need some food. And I can put away my leather. And let's see what do we got for our food situation. We'll make um, two stacks of wheat and we'll see how much bread that can make us. Um, I am going to shortcut 42. So that's 42 pieces of bread. Oh, and two wheat left over. So, yeah, we'll put those wheat away. And now we've got uh, pretty much almost unlimited food source. Bread is a pretty good food source, so I think it is it's fair to say it's quite unlimited. One thing we do need to get is books. And one thing I want to try to do is an AFK fishing farm. Um, because, yeah. So, oh, lag. So, jump. Wee. So honestly, I just want to get resources from the mines, since the mine is technically one of the more boring uh, ways to do it. Also, I'm sorry I missed April Fool's Day. April Fool's Day is usually fun, although I haven't, I didn't do it last year either, so, you know, no biggie, it's just not really a tradition. But I wish it was, is it, because it would be a, quite a fun tradition indeed. Did I bring a shovel? What is wrong with me? Well... Uh, I didn't bring an axe either. I literally just brought mining equipment. Great. <laughs> what I should have done is made an automatic sugar cane farm, because that's one of the easier ones to make. Although, yeah, I found a cave here. I guess we can explore the cave. So, yeah. We're just going to be mining today. Like, uh, I guess an average Minecrafter would. And eventually, I'd love to get to the point where we have... Um, the resources to be able to make an automatic iron farm, which would be just great. And actually one of the things I wanted to do was make an, a mob farm, because I remember that we had defeated a mob, a, I think it was a skeleton farm a while back, um, 
but and the video is titled "The Smartest Way to Defeat the Fall." What on earth am I doing? And, yeah, basically, I just defeat the spawner. It's very simple. However, um, I did not write the, um, the spawner's coordinates. Being the, um, not so smart head that I am. And yeah, I just completely forgot about writing down the coordinates. So, um, although usually I have show coordinates running, I don't know why I don't right now, actually. Let's turn that on. Eventually. There we are. Okay, so... Jeez. There we are. So I assume I would have sh had shown show coordinates there, so um, please use... Um, please tell me if I did. That's a skeleton. Oh, hello. Oh, what am I doing? Jeez, what is going on? That's what it's like to play with lag, ladies and gentlemen. I shot straight into the ground. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, and we have a spider here. I think we can put torches in our offhand, actually. I'm just, I'm just trying to play like a PC player. That's what's going on, and lag simply cannot handle it, so... Yeah. Well, that was a boring cave. Did I miss anything? I feel like I missed something. Nope. Okay. Well, I probably missed something up here, but still. Hmm. Mm. Let's see, okay. So, anyways, yeah, you don't want to hear me doing this all day. Um, what I could do is just, yeah, actually, wait a second, what's over there? I think this is a big lake, isn't it? No, it's just a big hill. There's the lake, though. So, anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna strip mine for a while until I hopefully find a cave. Or just find something. That's interesting, actually. Hmm. But anyways, I'm gonna be strip mining until I can find a cave in this cave. So, yeah. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> what am I doing? Mm. I am just not in the game today. Uh, I only have two pieces of cobblestone. I hate how it automatically puts the map there. Oh, uh, can I put torches in the offhand, though? Why? Like, why, though? That is, like, a feature that is... I hate about Minecraft Bedrock Edition, or just anything that isn't PC Edition. Because you can literally put anything in your offhand in PC Edition. Even things you can't use. And it doesn't matter if... Jeez, I almost just died there. Okay. Anyways, let's make our way down here. Um, yeah, and we'll just start a little strip mine here. Okay, I did dig a little bit far down here. Whoops. So yeah, I am digging quite high up, but I want to eventually be able to add stairs in this place. Also, it'll be able to... Why would I place it there? Okay, I really need to fix my sensitivity. But anyways, yeah, we're going to be strip mining for a little while, and I'll see you guys. We'll do a quick little speed run. And yeah, I'll do it for a little while. Um, until I find something. And yeah, I'll just do a quick speed run. So three, two, one, speed run, go! Hello everybody, this is my third attempt at trying to do this video, or just this voiceover, so I'm going to quickly tell you what happened. So, I uh, remember in the last episode I ended on a cliffhanger, I, I got stuck because I didn't have my bed, and it was night time, and I was stuck, so I ended the video. Then, off camera, I, um, I hit a tree, I knocked a tree down, I built a boat, then I was gonna try and go around the islands to get back to my house. That failed because there was no way to do that, because it, it just didn't work. So, what happened instead was I, um, basically just, um, just stayed on the water for a, for a little while. Yeah, that, that happened. And then, um, well, that was about it. So, um, yeah, that's
that, that's my funny story. Now let's listen to this groovy music here. All right, enjoy editing, Mr. Defiant. Yeah, bye, guys. Guys, I found a cave, and this is likely where I'm hearing the skeleton. So. really close now. So we're gonna have to, I guess, dig around so we can find a, an opening. Or like, we hit a, we're digging into the, what? Okay, so, looks like we're just like a floating rock. How did that happen? Um, we can try to the left, I guess. part of the cave's roof, then. So... I mean, it's never a good idea to jump down in the middle of a giant cave, so... You know. We'll, we'll try going a little bit more up, and then going back down slowly. Let's see if we... Okay, here's the cave again. Closer to a wall this time. So I think we can just like dip down like this and like that, and we're in. However, in this type of cave, I'm going to need to need I'm going to need to need my sword pretty close to my torches. We heard a skeleton. I... Oh, goodness. Wait, yes. Let's try and get a music disc. Come on, skeleton. Shoot. <gasps> Dang it. Why do you have to be so bad at aiming at creepers, you... He can aim fine at me, but he can't aim at a creeper. That's, um, yeah. I'd rather not go down the water path right now, though, so... I'm gonna see if there's any other paths we could uh, take. Looks like the water path might be the best one, though, as it goes lowest. Okay. We're gonna ignore any coal, because, you know, it's coal. We need coal, we just go literally anywhere. I found some gold. Now, gold isn't the most valuable thing in the world, we all know. However, it is cool to have gold. I like gold. And I'd consider it quite valuable. I even wear it. It is faster than a diamond pickaxe. So technically the fastest um, way to mine would be using a gold and efficiency pickaxe. Uh oh, this is dumb. I just took my boots off. move the bread down so that I have easy access to it. Yeah. Um I don't remember playing on the Xbox being the stressful. I mean, I guess playing what am I doing? Playing on the um Xbox I mean, I guess the last time I played Minecraft Survival Mode was actually on the PC. I didn't do this on camera because I have a life outside of YouTube, unfortunately, so. <laughs> um, ooh. 
Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. I know I have water on me, but that is not going to be very fast. Did a creeper blow up? Well, I'm most certain. I. You know, creepers. Oh, it was probably in the water. That was quite a scary little moment there. We're gonna take a little moment to heal up. Light the place around us here. And, um, hopefully not get attacked by any more creepers. I was extremely lucky to have survived that. Um, especially with my armor. It's actually pretty low. Oh, good thing we have we're getting armor now. I just realized iron iron no, iron cheese. The cave generation is definitely getting more realistic. Like look at that. It's like an almost a real stalag type. Right? Jeez, I just studied this. <laughs> I, I kind of feel bad not doing that. <gasps> I found some diamonds! <laughs> Speaking of um, weird noises that I can make, um, Barky has a YouTube channel. Now, this is the worst place for diamonds to be. What am I doing building? I can just, I can just use water. Uh-oh. <gasps> <gasps> Okay, I know I sound like a bit of a baby here, but these network quality problems are literally killing me. Okay. I, the game is so much slower now. Because I'm not playing on PC, it's so weird. I feel so out of control for some reason. I mean, I guess that's probably like something every single PC player ever says about Minecraft. I really do not want to lose these diamonds. Come on. So we got three diamonds. Unfortunately, we already have a diamond pick. But fortunately, what did I just do? Uh, diamonds are valuable, and uh, you know, take like as many of those things as I can get. That that doesn't even make sense. Oh well, whatever. We got some diamonds, that's pretty good. I found a pretty huge cave here. And it what am I doing? I know I just passed some lapis there, but I'm seeing some light up ahead now. Yeah. Okay, that's good then. I'll go back and grab some lapis here. There's so many ores, or just so many everything around here, it's crazy. I need redstone, no, redstone is cool. Nice going. So I am getting rid of most of the lava here, just because, well, it's lava. And, okay, that's the first iron pickaxe bird. acquire a base of sorts. But, you know. Currently, my main purpose here is to find a mob cage. Cage. A mob spawner. Because with one of those, I could rule the world! Alright, guys. Mr. Dufont has uncovered an issue. This video is 32 minutes long. So that that's a pretty big issue here. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to, um, uh, just cut it here. Okay, guys? So, uh, this is going to be a two-parter, uh, mining expedition. So, yeah, yeah, just, uh, letting you know uh, that that's what's gonna happen, because this video is way too long. So, yeah, um, so anyways, that's going to be the end of this episode here. I hope you did indeed enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Minecraft next week on Monday. So, yeah. Or...
No, it's the week after. Well, well, you've got quite a cliffhanger going, although it's not that exciting. All I'm just going to do is rule the world with a mob cage, as I said. Anyways, yeah, so that's going to be in this episode here. I hope you did indeed enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Minecraft. Goodbye! Please